Many haters of Israel call to boycott Israeli products, but if they truly understood what that meant, their lives would be very, very different. Let's take a look at some of the top Israeli innovations that have come out of Israel over the past many years. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Grish with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. So many technologies, inventions, and innovations have come out of Israel over the past many decades. If you look at the early years of the creation of the state of Israel, the early Jews who were living here, the early Zionists, required creativity and, and innovation, thinking out of the box and overcoming severe challenges, um, overcoming adversity in order to create this state. So it already got built into the hardwire, so to speak, the, the DNA of the Israelis, of Israeli society from the early years of the state to be creative, to think out of the box, to overcome challenges, to think of solutions where there were no solutions happening yet. So let's take a look at some of the great innovations that have come out of Israel over the past many years that have literally changed the world. On the top of the list, I think for me, definitely near the top of the list is something called drip irrigation. This is a system that uses pipes, or tubes, hoses that are laid out in a field or a garden. Uh, it could be a community garden. It could be someone's private garden. It could be an entire field that's part of a farm. And instead of spraying water over the entire field, which leads to a great amount of waste of water because most of the water doesn't get where it's needed, which is the roots, this puts water right by the base of the plant, which goes right into the roots, right where the plant needs it in uh, saving an incredible amount of water and increasing the yield of the crop many times over. This was a necessity in the early years of the state of Israel when water was a serious issue. For many years, for many decades, water has been a serious issue in Israel and drip irrigation being used extensively throughout uh, the state of Israel has been one of the solutions to Israel's water crisis. This technology has been exported to dozens and dozens of countries all over the world, helping people grow more food with less water, literally changing and improving their lives. Another amazing thing that has come out of Israel over the past many years is something called the Pilcam. Pilcam, it is a little tiny uh, camera that is placed inside of a pill and the person swallows it and it literally takes video of a person's uh, insides. And this helps doctors to better understand what's going on inside of a person's body related to any potential diseases or, or um, serious conditions. And it basically allows the, the doctors to know more information about the patient without doing invasive and painful surgeries and procedures. So this has been an absolute game changer in the medical field. Of course, so much technology has come out of Israel that eventually led to the cell phone, all kinds of microprocessors that are now used in almost everyone's laptops. So anyone who wants to boycott Israel, they probably have to get rid of their cell phone, probably have to get rid of their, their laptops because so many uh, of the pieces and parts that make these things run and make them as good as they are uh, come out of, uh, out of Israeli companies. In fact, some years ago, Microsoft said at a conference they said, you know, based on, 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 on how much uh, of our technology comes out of Israel, it makes sense to say that Microsoft is as much of an Israeli company as much as it is an American company. Another incredible invention that came out of Israel is something called the Rewalk. This allows people who have not walked in years, paraplegics who have lost use of their legs, who have been confined to a wheelchair and uh, have to deal with the limitations that a wheelchair brings to their lives, this is a, a, kind of like a technological exoskeleton that allows them to actually stand up on their own two feet and using the special device and these crutches that come along with it, start to walk. Some of the people who have used this device call it an absolute miracle, literally walking for the first time in so many years in their lives. So we see so many different inventions and, and innovations have come out of Israel, things that have literally changed the world. So much solar technology has come out of Israel. Right? We live in the desert, we live in the Middle East. There's so much sun here and um, so much solar technology that, that has been, again, exported around the world, uh, improving lives, improving communities and changing lives 
uh, have originated in Israel. So really, Israel is a country that's very, very tiny, has dealt with many large problems. And when they found the solutions to these problems, um, they oftentimes have exported these uh, solutions, sharing them with the world, because they know that these solutions are not just for us here in Israel. They are for the betterment of all of human society, fitting in very, very well with the ancient Jewish belief in something called tikkun olam, fixing the world that we are here <clears throat> to make the world a better place. So their haters may hate, but Israeli society is going to continue to put out new and, uh, and better uh, inventions and innovations that continue to improve the lives of people all around the world and continue, <clears throat> excuse me, continue to make this world a better place.